Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be on some fashion hacks for when you feel like you have nothing to wear So I really hope you find this video helpful and yeah, let's get into it so the first reason you might feel like you have nothing to wear is because you could be shopping without thinking of your outfits. So for example, you could really like something you see online or in store, but when you take it home, you just don't know or don't have the things to style it with. A good way to overcome this is to ask yourself before buying anything, what three items does this go with in my wardrobe already? That way, you know you'll be able to style it and make at least three outfits with it easily. Like I was saying just a minute ago, sometimes we own something but we just don't know how to style it so it's really helpful to look in magazines or YouTube videos. I do a lot of fashion related content on my channel, especially outfit ideas. But Pinterest is another good website to use too because you can just search what it is you're looking for and then you can save those ideas to your own board too so you can just go and look back at the outfits that you liked. Another problem which can make you feel like you have nothing to wear is if you own more trends than staple pieces. It's great to have some trends, especially if you're a big fan of them, but sometimes we buy too much and then when that eventually goes out of style you feel like you have nothing to wear because they're quite difficult to style with other things. So by picking some staple plain pieces you can wear those all the time with your trendy things too. You could also be buying too many similar things which makes you feel like you're always wearing the same stuff. It's great to have staples but by having too many of one thing it can sometimes put us in a bit of a style rut and we can feel bored of our outfits. So just think about if you have anything similar before you buy anything and how often you wear that piece because if you wear it a lot then maybe having a few similar isn't so bad but if you don't wear it very often then it's probably best just to keep the one you already have. Planning your outfits really helps, especially if you're in a rush most of the time, so a good way to do this is when you have some spare time, lay out some outfits from your wardrobe and see what works together. Even thinking about what shoes you would wear really helps and then just take a photo of it. It's also a good idea to hang your outfits together in your wardrobe if you can, so you can just pick it straight up and you know it goes together. And an even better way to plan your outfits would be to physically put them on and take photos in them, that way you can create your own album on your phone and save all of your outfits in there so you basically have your own mini Pinterest. Reworking seasonal pieces can be so useful, especially in between seasons. So for example, I've just got on a plain black long sleeve dress which is great because you can wear it with a denim jacket and trainers when the weather is warmer, but also style it with a camel coat, boots and tights when it's cold outside. That way you can make the most out of the pieces that you have in your wardrobe already without having to buy anything new. Finally, the last hack would be to write down what you think is missing and what you need in your wardrobe. So after putting your outfits together, you might realise that you'd actually really love a pair of black jeans and you know you can make lots of outfits from them. But by writing it down, this really helps when you're shopping to not get too distracted by other things. So that is it, I really hope you found this video helpful, please, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you did because it really encourages me to make more videos and I know what you want to see, so yeah, have a great day as always and I'll speak to you all in my next video, bye guys.